Houston, we have a problem. Five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> Well, you know when everything's too good to be true? Yep. I, um, it had a little vibration in it, which I knew when I bought it. And um, I was told it was probably flywheel, nothing to worry about. And um, I was driving it last night, and I'm just going, I don't know, I just I need to have a look inside, because if it's a big end going, it didn't feel like a big end, but we can jump on top of that real quick, replace a bearing and save it, because um, I've got some big kilometres to do. Anyway. I pulled the sump off and have a look what I found. So my centre main bearing um, cap is broken. One of the studs is broken off. And the bearings, where are they? Over here. They were just flapping around in the breeze. That's the bottom one, which isn't in terrible condition. The top one's absolutely flogged. Um, so the crankshaft looks good. The only problem is, is this thing's buried in the block, the rest of this stud, and getting that out. So I've just got my easy out. I'm going to get my drill. And uh, hopefully, let's crawl underneath. Hopefully no oil drops on my lens. Um, but... I don't know if you can see up in there, the thread is buried deep inside there. So what I have to do is try and drill that out with a uh, drill and easy out and see if we can get it out. I've got mates with parts. I've been madly on the phone to my buddies and uh, we'll be able to work it out if I can get that stud out. Um, worst case scenario, which I am uh, I have confidence we can do this, but worst case scenario is I drag that other motor out of the back of the corner of my shed and put that in here. I've still got a little bit of time. Because I am ahead of schedule. But yeah, a bit bummed. But we can do it. Let's see how we go. So these are high tensile drill bits for drilling into high tensile steel. They're not your standard type of drill bit. Um, I've just drilled the pilot with a little one and now we'll, uh, we'll find one that's going to suit my easy out and the depth of the hole that I've drilled and hopefully this guy will get out our stud and if that happens we're winning. That, my friends, is what you call victory. I'm telling you right now. If you know, you know. Well, as crappy as this all is, it's um, relatively simple. It's just a pain. So, you've got no idea how happy I am that that stud came out. Um, so, we should be able to fix this up. I've got mates on the hunt for parts. I've got another bloke just confirming the size of that bearing. Because what you can do, you can slip the new bearing over the top, put the other new bearing in the cap, and bolt it up. So I'm going to replace both the studs, the bearing top and bottom, 
and the cap. Put the sump back on, oil, and we should be right. So anyway, we'll uh, leave this here and come back when we've got all the bits. Righto, it's a few days later, and um, I managed to get myself a cap, a couple of new studs, and um, unfortunately, there's been a few dramas. I can't find a bearing, new or second hand, that um, is the right size. I can get every other size except that one I've spoken to. I reckon everybody and anybody that's a flathead person in Australia, and there just isn't anything around. Um, I could get one from America, but not in time. I've got a week and a half before the test run, so um, I've only got one solution. Oh, the other issue was the other stud was snapped as well when I went to take that out. Um, I started to turn it and it just fell out and uh, it was broken and it's jammed up inside um, It broke on an angle, so I can't get the drill bit to go in the center so It's gonna be repairable. I'd need to make up a jig so I can get the drill bit to go down the middle um, But I can't do that right now, so my plan B is this other motor that I've got in the back of the shed It's a 24 stud. I think it's a 42 model um, sorry, so it's the one that the dizzy came off, the starter came off. Um, I've had the heads off it, it looks like it's a good thing. Um, I had to free up the valves from memory, so uh, we'll go and drag that out now. And uh, we're gonna have to do an engine swap. I will say I'm pretty bummed, I've just worked so hard, but anyhow, it is what it is. Um, I will save that engine, but um, it won't be this week. So first challenge is this engine is tucked <clears throat> right in the back corner behind this engine and everything else I've got laying around here. But there it is. Um, it is on a trolley, but it's a big trolley. And there's a Windsor on it as well, so both of those have to come out. I remember getting that in there was difficult, so um, yeah, let me move some stuff about. Well, that wasn't fun, but it's out. Um, there she is, 42 model, 24 stud, 221. That's my Mustang Hypo um, 289. It's a genuine Hypo motor um, that I got off a of mate. I have a gearbox, bell housing, four-speed box, and it, it's one of the options for this coupe build when I get into it. But anyway, we're not uh, here about that. Let's um, get this off the crate and uh, start cleaning it up. cleaning up to do with this one I'm not going to bore you with that if you want to watch you do that you can watch the other video by the end of this video I want this engine in and running and we're driving again so I'm not going to muck around wasting time filming everything I'll film little bits and pieces hey little highlights and hopefully everything on this is sweet I mean it looks good I did go over it years ago it turns gaskets do the, all the surfaces again, remove these manifolds, give it a coat of paint, assemble it, then we'll bring the pickup down, we'll rip that motor out and um, throw this one in. So it's all going to happen really quick for you guys. Let's go.
So I've spent, I reckon, an hour and a half. I had three stuck valves. I've got one of them freed up. One of them's almost ready and the other one's super tight. Just try a bit of heat, we'll let it cool down. We'll keep spraying lube, keep trying to turn them. We'll get there. Idea to remove your sump on an old motor. Probably should have done that on the other one, eh? So that is the strainer off the oil pump. It's laying in there. Look at that. And the sludge. I'm gonna see if that other sump fits. I'll use that, I think. That's slow. Oh. Sludge. No strainer. But they do a lot, but all that just gets regurgitated through your engine. So I've still got a sticky valve on this. Um, I've spent probably two hours trying to get these valves unstuck. I've tried to take the cartridge out and I can't get it out. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep working on it, but I thought before I spend any more time, I just wanted to take the sump off and just check it. Um, everything looks all right under there. Um, I'm going to flip it on its back in a minute and we'll have a closer look. But apart from the sludge, it doesn't look too bad. I had a bit of a play with the bearings. Yeah, they feel okay. Um, but we'll have a closer look in a second. Hopefully, everything's good. Righto, it's the next day. Um, I've been over the bottom end, everything looks tight and right. I'll replace that um, strainer off the other motor. It didn't have a clip in the sump at all that I could find. Um, and the strainer had holes in it, so that's been done. So I'm going to put the sump on off the other motor. It looks like it's going to fit, no worries, they're the same. It's just in better condition and the old sump had this monster sized sump plug, so we'll go with this one. Um, the goal today is to have this engine assembled and painted, but I still have to free up that tight valve. So priority number one, we'll get the sump on and sort that valve out. Can't put the heads on until the valve's right. So let's go.
killing the loft mite. Whew! Yes! Look at that. That's a dead mouse. It's a tight squeeze in there, buddy. You've been in there a long time. go one re 942 24 stud flathead Ford motor you've got to bring the old uh, hot rod down now and rip the other one out